Hi, it's Holly. I am five weeks and one day post-op for my right hip arthroscopy surgery. It has been quite a while since I have filmed a video and a lot of stuff has happened since then. Um, so to make this not as confusing, I did kind of make my own video at three weeks and then I didn't end up posting it. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip next just so you can see kind of where things were at and then I will talk to you again after that clip plays. Well, today is Wednesday, June 3rd, and I'm three weeks post-op from my surgery, and I had another PT appointment. Things did not go super well today, which is unfortunate. I am behind the eight ball with my recovery, and it's nothing that I've done. Um, my patience is definitely being tested here. He was expecting that I would be able to walk after today, potentially, or at least move down to one crutch. That wasn't the case. Um, my pelvis is not aligned. I guess it was something I knew from last week to this week that I wasn't progressing in a way that I should have. Um, so still on the crutches this week. We need to realign my pelvis but because you know, with my pelvis off and my hips off, one leg's longer than the other. It's also putting a lot of pressure on my SI joint um, on the right hand side. So that's just kind of like below your lowest vertebrae in your spine is your sacrum um, iliac joint, which I'm referring to as the SI. Anyways, it's, um, he said it's most likely due to previous back pain that I've had, um, you know, I've, probably train myself to walk and do things a little bit different than normal because I've always had a bad back. So now with this change, my body's having to adapt in ways that it didn't have to before. So I've been having knee pain, back pain. I'm kind of hobbling on the crutches um, more than I should be. I've been icing my back a ton. And I think that's about it. I've been getting now sores under my arms um in the radial nerve you can kind of see it's like a almost like a bruise in there from crutching around so that kind of sucks um yeah recovery is not linear so you know you may have a setback at a different time but my setback was this week and we kind of just had to take a different protocol like approach and protocol to everything um i'm doing all new exercises now Literally, he eliminated every single exercise but one that I was doing before just because I've mastered those ones, but I'm still not able to do a seated leg raise, which I need to be able to do to drive and to walk properly. And a lot of things are just more sore than they should be and they're not firing the way that they should be. So um, the bed sore looks better, so that healed, so that's good. Um, but yeah, a little bit upsetting today, but hopefully with these new exercises and this new approach, we'll be able to straighten out my pelvis and move forward. So keeping my head semi high and yeah, moving ahead onward and upward. Okay. So as you can see, week three was rough to say the least. Um, after that week, um, basically I stuck on the crutches. I was super adamant about my PT. I was doing a lot of it every day. Um, I went back the fourth week and actually uh, my body was able to catch up. Um, I'm still having a lot of back pain now as well. Uh, I guess it just can take some time for things to, you know, settle down and realign. Um, so week four was a lot better at PT. I got um, a little bit of new exercises using some resistance bands. So that's been cool. Instead of three times a day, now I'm just down to once a day for PT. So that's a little bit less time consuming. Um, one mistake I made, I was under the impression that just for the first two weeks that I really needed to limit my range of motion. And once the stitches were out that I would be 
cleared, so to speak, to kind of just do whatever, not whatever I wanted, but you know, stretch a little bit further than I should, just as long as it didn't hurt. Um, but I got yelled at for that at week four of PT. Sorry, the camera, I'm having a hard time <laughs> holding it. Um, so I got in trouble for that week four at PT. So yeah, I'm still not able or supposed to bring my knee above 90 degrees. So anyway, I'm now, like I said, five weeks, one day. I am walking without my crutches at all. It still definitely feels weird to walk. Um, my knee is really hurting. The side of my leg is still feels like it was beaten up by a baseball bat. With that, it's just like those muscles in my leg are still really tight, therefore it's pulling my knee, therefore it hurts to walk. Also, just walking with a different kind of gait affects your back and your hip and everything, your knee. So it's been difficult. I still can't go for walks, so to speak. I can't walk too far. I'm not like cleared to exercise or anything. I asked about riding a bike that's still off limits. Um, it's just too much work and stress on my hip as of now. So when I go back to PT next Wednesday for my six week appointment, hopefully I'll get cleared to go for bike rides because that would be awesome. Um, today I had my six week second post-op. So I had a post-op with the PA at two weeks and then now at six weeks and then now I have another at 12 weeks out with the actual surgeon. Today was with the PA again. Um, we went, I got some new x-rays. We went over the before and after of the x-ray shots. Um, everything was good. I was taking those, that medication in order to not have re-bone growth in that capsule. And the medication did its job. Everything looked good. There was no floating fragments or anything. Everything looked good on their end. So that's awesome. I like I said, have another post-op with the actual surgeon in at the end of July. So, and today is June 18th for reference, I think, or 19th, something like that. Anyways, um, yes. And then also because I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos that my left or my right hip was a lot more traumatized than they thought. He actually tested my left hip a little bit today at the post-op and there was a little bit of red flags. So I have an MRI scheduled in like two and a half weeks and they're gonna be looking at my left hip. So let's all hope that I don't have the same problem in my left hip and I do not have to have surgery again because then this journey will start all over. So anyways, uh, besides that, I don't have a ton to relay. I would just say Although I look super happy and positive and these videos are super upbeat, um, it definitely has not been easy at all on me mentally or physically. I'd say the first two weeks were fine, but weeks three to where I am now at five in a day, it's been pretty challenging. A lot of tears, a lot of frustration, a lot of anger at myself and trying not to take it out on other people just being cooped up is really difficult for me and being in pain is difficult I'm still taking the naproxen it's like an ibuprofen every once in a while it's been achy still you still can't really lay on your side I'm a side sleeper but we're getting there um but yeah it may look like everything's great but it is a lot tougher mentally than I was expecting and it's still gonna be a journey. So just, you know, if you're watching this and you're going through the same thing, try to keep upbeat. I've been watching some other people's videos and it, it, it can get you down in the dumps if they're ahead of where you are at that point. Um, but just keep remembering everybody is different. And although like at three weeks I was behind and way upset, the next week I came back and my body adjusted and I was back at, up where I should be. So just gotta, keep on keeping on. Um, I'm also going back to work tomorrow. So if you're thinking about time off or anything, it'll be a little over five weeks that I've been off of work. So I'm excited to get back to get some normalcy. So anyways, I will be posting again, probably not for a while. Um, at least for sure at my next post-op visit um, at 12 weeks. So anyways, thanks for watching.